I like to say that I do all of my shopping online, and so it only makes sense that that's how I found my husband. We, we met online, he reached out to me, he sent me a message and said, you are amazingly attractive and I would love to get to know you better. <laughs> and uh, I messaged him back pretty much immediately and I was like, can't right now, how's Tuesday? <laughs> Ready? So handsome. You're so pretty. You're my boho princess. <laughs> so I was on my way out of town. Um, I needed my own um, adventure, and I met Mariah, and couldn't say no. I had to. I had to invite her. When we met, he had just uh, moved into his RV and was basically kind of taking a sabbatical from life, just needed a change of scenery. I would like to say divine intervention happened and I got laid off from my job three days after I met him. And he had kind of offered, well, you could come if you wanted. And then when I got laid off, I was like, does the offer still stand? Can I bring my dog? <laughs> this is right now. Whew. We were in a 30-foot RV, fifth wheel, for eight months, getting to know each other, <laughs> learning to park the RV, and we didn't know each other. And so it was wildly a brand new experience that you know we had to learn a lot really quickly about each other. We learned to communicate in ways that I never would have expected. <laughs> Yeah, living with him <laughs> that quickly was kind of strange just because it was like he's a stranger but I feel like I've known him forever because um, it was only three weeks from the day that we met to the day that I moved in with him. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm happy you found such a good man. It's hard. Hard to, hard shoes to fill. <laughs> Today is a celebration, a celebration of love, commitment, of friendship, of family. And after six months and 36 states of living in a 200 square foot space together, these two are still absolutely smitten. Take care of us. I will. I know. It was told to me that they had had a couple of dates within a few days of meeting each other. And Joe, within a week, they discovered that they shared a common life dream, a simpler life with acres of land, animals, and some free range children. I had to read that a couple of times. Is that children or chickens? It's, we got the chickens. We already got the chickens. Got the chickens. Yeah. <laughs> Mariah, get the tears ready. <laughs> You're the unexpected and the unplanned. Chaos in its truest form. You're my co pilot. Our meeting was unexpected in a time of chaos and change for me. We both had nothing to lose and no fear of putting our cards on the table. I love you now and forever. Joe, I feel so lucky to have found you and I love the life that we're building together. I love how we have worked together to learn how to love each other best. And through your loving me, I have learned to love and accept myself more fully. I cannot wait for our future. We are going to have so much freaking fun. <laughs>
in the presence of God and your loved ones, you have joined yourself in marriage. As you have both accepted the vows of the other, you may now go forth and fulfill your vows with the same love and devotion which now blossoms between you. With great joy, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Joe is, Joe is honest, sweet. And Joe is chaotic. <laughs>